what is going on my people so welcome back to the channel and today i want to talk to you guys about the deadpool movie and what hot toys might be having in store for us and why not so i have prepared a top 10 of all the figures that we can possibly have from hot toys or not and i want to discuss with you guys to see what can we get out of this movie from hot toys and coming at number 10, we have Peter. And I am absolutely convinced that we are <laughs> not kidding this guy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This this was an extremely funny moment in the trailer for me. When these guys show up and he said he had no superpowers and Devil was like, you're in. That, that just nut of the head and the voice of Deadpool is it cracked me up and then when later on on the trailer you see him skydiving like he actually made the team I was in tears honestly this is so funny I cannot wait for this movie we are so close we're gonna be seeing it really really soon but no this guy is not number 10 obviously so for for real this time <laughs> number 10 is gonna be Russell the kid are we going to get um this kid from hot toys and obviously i believe this is not the case hot toys i don't remember a single kid done by hot toys not even one so hot toys does not in my opinion they have done it obviously many times before but they don't like to go away from the from the molds they already have, from the bodies they already have, they, they don't want to create a new body. All this is completely necessary and there's a figure they actually want to put out. But other than that, I have never seen a kid, especially, uh, actually nobody, nobody like shorter or really, really tall. Even though some figures and some actors have difference in height in the movies that do not have when they have uh when they become hot toys because it's just use the same body for everybody and everybody is more or less uh the same height depending on the outfit like if they have like boots or something that will be taller or shorter but the, the inner body it will be always the same so sadly no we're not going to be getting uh the kid so yeah that is number 10 coming to number nine we have this guy here, the guy from It, I don't recall his name right now, but uh, his actual name, but the, the the superhero name or whatever, I don't know if he's, you can call him a superhero, uh, he's like, say haste, say say haste, I cannot even pronounce, I cannot even get close to how you pronounce it, so... Yeah, you can barely see him on the trailer. These are steals from the trailer. But this is how it's going to be looking. And he looks he looks weird uh, in a good way. He doesn't look weird in a bad way. He looks weird in a really, really good way. And this is another shot here that we see him on the background wearing his uh, mouth protector. Because I believe uh, the one of the, his powers is that he... Like he vomits these hazards or something like that. I don't know. I, don't, I have never seen or read anything with that guy on it. So I have no idea. So yeah, he, he's barely on the trailer. So and he's not a very, very minor character. So no, I don't think we're going to be getting him from Hot Toys either. Uh, so yeah, moving on to number eight. And on number eight, we have... Terry Crews at Batman, and as much as I like Terry Crews, he looks super badass. I really like his costume. I like how he's uh, very bulk, like he's always been. Come on, it's Terry Crews. I love that guy since uh, White Chicks, but um, I don't see I don't see how to is doing him. Sadly, even though he looks really really cool, and it would be super dope having a Terry Crews uh, figure, uh, his face is exposed and he's kind of famous and he's a very minor character on this movie so no, nope, I don't think we are going to be getting a Terry Crews um, sadly as a hot toy so yeah, moving on to number 7 we have this kick ass girl, I don't even know who she is 
but she looks amazing and it would be really cool to have her figure because of the outfit she's wearing her hair is purple she has all that going on for her she has this electric chain and that she's whipping around and she looks fantastic but at the same time uh, we come to the same we come to the same conclusion she's a minor character and uh, I don't think Hot Toys is going to be doing her. And even though she looks amazing, I really like her hair, her outfit, and the, the, the her weapon of choice is really interesting. But I don't think we're going to be getting her. And here she is standing next to Nega Sony Teenage Warrior hair. And wow, does she look beautiful this time around. And actually, she's my number six. I think she looks incredible and I would love to have her in my collection. Sadly, she's fallen into the kit category that I don't think that Hot Toys is going to be doing. And they skipped her, they skipped on her in part one. I think they're going to skip on her again. Uh, yeah, I wish you could say something else. I wish you could say, yes, we are definitely getting her. No, we're not. I, I, I have become a pessimist when it comes to Hot Toys because it works. It, if you're a pessimist with Hot Toys, it will most likely not happen. And you will not be disappointed. Every time I've been optimist with the Vulture and some other and many other figures that I want, it hasn't happened. So... Sadly, this is one of those occasions that I really, really want this figure, but we're not be getting her. So, there you go, Hot Toys. This is for every time you have disappointed us and teasing us with figures and then not showing us and playing with our hearts. So, that is a uh, bird for you. All right, moving on to number five. And at number five, we have Shutterstar. And I have to say, this guy also looks ridiculously good i really like how he looks in this in this outfit right here they have included him his uh traditional outfit with his face protector whatever the hell that thing is and he the the, the weapons that he's uh wielding they look crazy they look really really good but they look crazy good and I really like how the fact that how close to the comet they got him. They got him with the with the star on his eye. They got him with this ridiculous thing on his face that any other movie would have backed down from doing that. But they they just put it there. They were they were true to the comet, and I can only applaud um, Fox and the Deadpool team for doing that. But I really even though this cool this look will be cool. I would really like to have this look. If you can have like both, if you can have like the face protector, like you can remove it and then you get the jacket and then you get the other jacket, and that would that would be like the perfect figure. And I would totally get him because I think he looks badass with the red hair and the ponytail and all that. He looks pretty, pretty dope. But sadly, minor character again, we are not going to be getting him. Such a shame this all these cool characters we are getting here on this movie and I don't see Hot Toys doing none of them. It's just a real shame. Look at those uh blades. Dual dual blades. This guy looks crazy. It looks crazy, crazy good, but we're not getting him sadly. This is a very disappointing video so far. So moving on to number four. And at four we have Colossus. And Colossus was in part one, and he was featured heavily on that movie. And Hot Toys did not release a Colossus figure. He's coming around for part two, and I don't think that we are going to be getting Colossus this time around. Because his, his role in this movie is going to be... I haven't seen the movie, but I can guarantee you right now that his role in this movie is going to be less... Nah. We have so many people and so many more characters uh, that they haven't been featured before, and he has, so I can guarantee you that his role in this movie is going to be very minor, and no, Hot Toys is not going to be releasing him, because they will need to build an entire new body for these guys, because these guys is huge, and I don't see Hot Toys doing that, I I. I which they did there's a company that created a third-party company that created um, a figure I, I was 
it was toys era i don't remember right now uh but you guys can look it up if anybody wants to know i will just comment uh hey, which was the company and i'll look it up and i'll send you a message no problem there but yeah there's a colossus out there and he looks pretty good but it sadly it was not released um by hot toys so yeah i believe this is going to be the case again we are not getting again um a colossus and that is really terrible those are all steals from uh for deadpool part one really cool movie and we're moving on to number three and at number three we have dominus and i believe that i can already start shining some line into this freaking movie because I believe from the bottom of my heart that we are getting Domino. I believe the Hot Toys is going to jump into this and we are going to be getting our own Domino. Because I really want it. I'm, very, I'm being very optimistic about her. She's a, one of the main characters of the movie. Uh, this, is, this is really Hot Toys territory. They can do a really cool figure with her and her outfit looks really good her hair is something like completely different and never seen on a hot toys before and i cannot wait to see how hot toys is going to handle that and the same uh with the outfit and all that she, she just looks amazing look at that uh and it will be really really cool to have a domino i will get her on the spot honestly because she just looks beautiful and sexy and who wouldn't have who wouldn't want to have a domino to go with your deadpool i certainly do so yeah we are by my prediction we are getting domino dumped by hot toys enough of that i don't want to hear it so moving on to number two and on number two we have deputy himself we are definitely getting Deadpool himself. Obviously, we already have a Deadpool, but there's a new movie coming out. There are new opportunities uh, for this movie, things that you can include on your on your figure. And one of the things that we I believe that we're going to be ha getting on this new Deadpool is his head. And no, 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 this one, this one. We are finally going to be getting the Deadpool uh, face code that everybody wanted for the first figure and we didn't got it. so we are going to get it this time around that is for sure another thing that would be really cool to have not just for Deadpool but for Domino if she gets released and anybody else that I'm predicting that it's not going to get released but they probably won't but if they do it would be really cool to get the parachute I want the parachute to come with Deadpool and Domino it's it's been uh, featured heavily on the trailer and it's gonna be really really cool I imagine look how amazing he looks with all those straps and all that uh, I like I like my figures like heavy with guns everywhere and straps and velcros and you name it I, I like all that stuff so it would be really really nice if they include the, the parachute another thing they can include is the the teacher it looks really nice it's a very small piece and they can totally add it no problem there and fans are gonna uh, really appreciate having this teacher uh, to be able to recreate this scene on the movie uh, and something I want personally is this hand I want a hand with the hole in it so you can uh, recreate that one. It would be really cool if they can get a hole through uh, the one of the hands come with already with a pre hole and so obviously this guard is not going to be um, it's not gonna they're not gonna make a figure but you can get somebody somebody else somebody that might be number one could be holding a gun and doing this to uh, Deadpool and Deadpool could be just holding it that that would be a super neat accessory for me to have and I don't think it's going to be very difficult to do it. You just have to destroy one of the hands of your figure. Or you can get one on eBay or something like that. And then you can destroy that one so you can have a full set. But let, we'll see uh, how Toys decides to do something like that and include uh, this hand. And if they... 
<laughs> and if they decide to include this wig with the shirt and the painting and all that, uh, that would be just hysterical. I don't see Hot Toys doing this because this is not on the movie. This is just a teaser trailer. It's just a fun gig. But I totally see third-party companies doing this. And it's going to be hilarious to have your Deadpool display like that. I cannot wait to see somebody doing it. It would be really cool. So, coming at number one, we you all know who he is. He's the main guy in the Marvel in the Marvel scene right now. We're talking about Josh Brolin himself. Pump the hate break tunnels. And I gotta say, this uh, this look of uh, Cable has grown on me tremendously. When I first saw him, I was like. Uh, he's too skinny. He's not like like futuristic enough. Like he's wearing stuff that we see, except for the hand, obviously, which is obviously nobody has that. But everything else is just tactical stuff that we see uh, in today's movies. Like people are carrying around. He doesn't have like this uh, bulky armor that he has in the comics. Uh, and I was uh, when they said they were gonna release um, Cable on this movie. And we we're gonna feature him. I thought that we we're gonna be getting that, but uh, when I saw this feature at first, I was like, "Yeah, this is not quite what I had in mind." But now that I know this is what we get, it I am super excited, and I am definitely 100% convinced that Hato is going to be putting this figure out, no doubt about it, not a shadow of a doubt. And I am going to be getting him because he just looks fantastic. And this picture has grown on me really, really a lot. And he has so much going on. Like, he has the hand, the gun. The gun looks incredible. It's just like, a, it's like several guns put together. He has like, it's like a Chris Vector with this is like a barrette here on the tip. He has an old school buttstock. And it's just, just like pieces. It has a grenade launcher on the bottom, flashlights, coats. It's just like a mix match of guns together. And it looks really, really nice. I cannot wait to see what Hot Toys is going to do with that and with his hand at the same time. So, yeah, guys. If you think we are not going to be getting this uh, figure, sh shut the f because we will, okay? I don't want no negativity going through um, through this figure because I really, really, really want my cable. So, here you guys, guys, out of this entire movie, this is all we're going to be getting. We're going to be getting Domino, we're going to be getting Cable, and Deadpool himself. Hopefully, we're going to be getting these three guys out of this movie. Hot Toys already announced that they have the license for this movie. They're not going to just release Cable, or they're not going to just release Deadpool, I'm sorry. They are going to release Cable, and they are going to release Domino. And I am super pumped, because even though we're not getting Shutterstar, or Negasoni, or the other girl with the whip, sadly, because they really they, they look really, really nice, and I would totally get them, especially Negasoni, if they release her, I will get her on the spot. But um, this is good enough for me, and I totally think that Hot Toys is going to be releasing these three, and I am super pumped for that. I cannot wait until they put out the pre-orders for this. So, what do you think, guys? Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Just put it on the comments below. What do you think? Are you excited for the Deadpool movie? Are you excited for any of these figures? Let me know on the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. And try not to be a stranger on the channel. Be around.